All right, so in this video, I'll be looking at how we construct the 30 degree, 45 degree, 60, 90, and 120 degree angles using our compass. I'll begin by demonstrating how we construct a 60 degree angle. The first thing you want to do is to take your compass and put the tip at the point where the angle will be constructed. And in my example, that's the point A. So I'm going to put it at A and then open it about a third of the distance between A and B. And then starting from the line AB, I'm going to create a semicircle which goes backwards just like this. Now I'm going to pick the compass up, ensuring that I don't adjust the width of it in any way, and then take it to, to this point where the semicircle and the line meet. All right, and then I'm going to create a new arc which cuts the first one. The only thing left to do now is to draw a line which connects the point A to the intersection of those two arcs, and, and that's how I form my 60 degree angle. Let me move on now to the construction of a 120 degree angle. Now I'm thinking about 120 degrees as 60 degrees plus 60 degrees. So if I could first draw a 60 degree angle and then draw another 60 degree angle on top of that one, then I would have created 120 degrees. All right, so the first thing we need to do is to construct the first 60 degree angle. So I'll take the tip of the compass to the point A, open it about a third of the distance between A and B and create a semicircle backwards. I lift the compass up, put it at this point and create an arc which cuts the semicircle. Then move it to this intersection and create a new arc behind the first one. And if I connect a line through from the point A to this new intersection, that is 120 degrees. Before we get to the other constructions, let me first explain what it means to bisect an angle. Now this word bisect just means to cut something in half, all right? So if I'm bisecting an 80 degree angle, I'll be creating two 40 degree portions. Let me now demonstrate how we go about bisecting any angle. So I'll use this same angle here as an example. So I'll put the tip of the compass to the top part of the angle, open it up a bit and create an arc halfway between, just halfway between the angle. Then I'll pick the compass up again, ensuring that I keep the width of it the same and move it to the bottom part of the angle right here and then create a new arc which cuts the first one. Then connect a line from the point A through the intersection of those two arcs and the resulting angles are exactly a half of the original one. All right, so now that we know how to bisect an angle, let's move on to the construction of the 30 degree angle. Now a 30 degree angle is just a half of 60 degrees. So if I can bisect a 60 degree angle, then I would have created the 30 degree angle. So assume that I already have a 60 degree angle. What I would need to do is to put the tip of the compass to the top part of the angle, open it up a bit and create an arc halfway between. Move the compass to the bottom part of the angle, create an arc which cuts the first one. And now if I connect a line straight through from the middle, now I have my 30 degree angle. Let's move on now to the construction of a 90 degree angle. I'm thinking about 90 degrees as the halfway point between 60 degrees and 120 degrees. So if I could bisect the angle between those two, then I would end up with a 90 degree angle. We begin by laying down the construction marks for 120 degree angle. So I begin by putting the tip of the compass to the point A, creating a semicircle backwards, then moving it to this point and creating an arc which cuts that semicircle that is the 60 degree arc. Then I move the tip of the compass to this point and create an arc behind the first one and this is my 120 degree point, all right? So I have 120 degrees here and 60 degrees here. My aim now is to bisect the angle between the 120 degree mark and the 60 degree mark. So I'll open the compass up a bit, create an arc above, about halfway between, move it to the other end that I'm interested in and create a new arc which cuts the first one. And now if I connect a line straight from the point A up to that intersection, now I have 90 degrees. All right, and the last construction I'll look at is that of the 45 degree angle. Now, 45 degrees is just a half of 90 degrees, right? So if I could bisect a 90 degree angle, then I would end up with a 45 degree angle. So assume that I already had a 90 degree angle drawn like, like here, then all I would need to do is to bisect it. All right, so I put the tip of the compass to the top part of the 90 degree angle, open it and create an arc between, then move it to the next point of the 90 degree and create an arc which cuts that first one. And now constructing a straight line through the points, I have a 45 degree angle. 